Hey, greetings from Haw Creek, one of the best kept secrets in Asheville, North Carolina when it comes to neighborhoods. Welcome! This is Living in Asheville, North Carolina, where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina. So hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, and you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. So today we're exploring Haw Creek, and this is right east of downtown Asheville. It takes about six minutes to get downtown. It's a subdivision that's quite large and used to be more agricultural and now is bursting with people of all different ages. And there's many different little components to Hall Creek. There's like Sonley Estate, with Estates, which has really high-end homes. There's starter homes. There's mid-priced homes everywhere. And we are standing right now in the epicenter of Hall Creek, which is really cool because there's a tap house, which is a kind of fun like little uh, lunch place and penny cup coffee there's a daycare center there and here you have a bar which is called the whale outpost which is great for gathering with friends after work or on the weekends there's a salon an insurance place there's two elementary schools located in the neighborhood of Haw Creek um, and a community center and a, a community garden as well. There's so much to love about this place, including the proximity to nature and the trails that you have right here walking out your back door. You can even hit up the Blue Ridge Parkway right from the trails outside. So it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, right, like I said, right outside of downtown Asheville where you feel like you are miles and miles away from everything, um, but really in the middle of everything. So join me, let's go check it out. So of course my friend Kate into doing an interview with me. She is a mom, she lives in Hall Creek and knows the ins and outs of it and so I want to get her impression of what it's like to live here. So here we are, I have run into a wonderful woman that lives in Hall Creek, her name is Kate Volkman and she's going to give us a little bit of an insight into what it's like to be a parent and live in this cool community called Hawk Creek in Asheville, North Carolina. Hawk Creek is really neat because we are so close to downtown Asheville. Like we are less than five minutes from Pack Square right now. Um, but this whole neighborhood just has a really laid back kind of relaxed feel to it. So the um, it used to be just all farmland in this valley, so we're kind of hemmed in on both sides. Um, the parkway goes over there. You have Chun's Cove, and then and then basically over Town Mountain, you're in North Asheville in downtown. So we're this like long valley, um, but so centrally located and just you know quiet. When we first moved here, it was just amazing how just like winding down. New Hawk Creek Road, just all the stress kind of melts away. And then you're in your neighborhood, you've got really close neighbors, um, we celebrate the holidays together. It's a really neat kind of close-knit community um, where you know you can just like call on, or like on the group text, do you need someone to let out your dog or like you don't have the spices that you need or you know just whatever it is. It feels like a community of people that really help each other intergenerational so um, I definitely have felt connected to the other moms and the kids have playmates but then there's also people just of all stages of life here too. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the hippest youngest of yeah. neighborhoods but, um, but we have everyone. And one of the other really cool things about being in that valley is that you f like we feel like we live in the mountains more than when we lived in West Asheville or North Asheville like you would have to 
get out of the neighborhood to kind of feel like, oh, this is why we live here. This is beautiful. Here, like, we open our front door and you can see the sides of the valley. So throughout the year, like, you can see the leaves come in, the everything come into bloom, and then the fall colors are just, like, right there in front of you, like, in your backyard, and it's, it's glorious. That's amazing. There's a little winding trail that goes up to the Hawk Creek Overlook, and you are meeting the Blue Ridge Parkway with everything that that entails so like beautiful scenery um, biking motorcycling just the whole experience of that motorway and then you can also hook up to the mountain to sea trail you can walk to the folk arts center you could walk all the way to the sea if you wanted to but we uh, have you haven't done that yet no not no. yet okay. shocking you didn't take the kids walking yeah to the, but we yeah. could but you could but that's could. all you need to know you exactly. don't actually have to do it and then there's a uh, community uh, pool, right? Mm -hmm. It's a membership pool. Um, and right now they have a wait list that I think is like a few years long. And that's because it's so amazing. It's, you know, it's nothing luxurious, but just it's like the epitome of what you think of when you're like a summer pool experience. There's a water slide, there's a snack bar, the kids like find their friends and they're just feral and totally happy. Like. And then there's a thing called Hall Creek Commons. What do you know about that? So that's, um, it's a church building and part of it has been like used and repurposed as like co-working space. And it's a great like gathering point for different organizations and groups and clubs. So I know of like several groups that meet there. Um, some people rent space for music lessons. Um, and then you can go and work there and use their co-working space. So if you work from home or have any like remote aspect to your job, you have that kind of hub to get out of the house and to be able to like spread out and get work done. And in Hall Creek, there are, it's not just Hall Creek, it's like one big subdivision. There are little, little tiny subdivisions all around. And you mentioned in the beginning, Hall Creek was kind of agriculture yes. oriented. Yeah. And they were, so, tell like, me about that. Big big kind of cattle farms and just like a few families through the valley from what I understand and there's still a little bit of that feel to it like we have two cows that live at the edge of our neighborhood two that cows? we can go visit oh. mm -hmm. I think one of them's named like Maybelline maybe Maybelline. and the other but they're they're total pets um, but they're just there living their cow life um, it's while you're cool. 12 minutes from downtown or yeah. however many minutes how many minutes I think it takes us about five to seven five to seven mm -hmm. minutes to be in the heart of downtown Asheville yes yep that's wild okay yeah. it's it's pretty great anything yeah. else yeah we have a new library they have great um, great programming and they also have a new um, like smaller playground outside, but it's just neat to walk into like this really modern, like fresh space. And it's always been a great community hub where the librarians are very engaged and they have a really strong collection of, um, you know, several like niche genres. So you can kind of go and get good suggestions yeah. and enjoy like this fresh space with this really well curated selection of books. Things like, like yeah. You don't, you don't, don't want, want to move here do because... This. I would say that there's less of the walkability factor, although that's changing. So we're actually getting a greenway kind of walking space that's going to connect this kind of hub right here to a little bit further up the neighborhood, but it's not going to extend the whole valley. So it's a little bit more of a car-dependent community. Yeah. Um, and we also have a good amount of wildlife, which is both incredible and can have its pitfalls. We yeah. have bears frequently coming through our yards, um, some coyotes. We see lots of um, birds and other wildlife. We get the occasional fox, raccoon, just, you know, possums. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for gi giving us a glimpse into Hog Creek. So this is Hall Creek Commons. It might look like a church, and it used to be a church, but now it is a community center for Hall Creek. And there's all kinds of things that happen here, retreats, uh, seminars, educational things. This is where the commercial kitchen is and the co-working space. Beautiful stained glass windows and just a wonderful, peaceful place to be. 
Next door are the community gardens as well. We can take a look over there. Now there's not so much going on right now because we are in the middle of winter time. It is just the beginning of February right now. But imagine this in the summertime where you can come out and work in the garden along with people that live next to you and learn about how to grow things and probably share the abundance as well. What a wonderful thing to have in your neighborhood.